This is my 1997 Polaris Indy XLT 600. And um, one thing that I struggled to figure out myself was the sway bar bushing here. So I've already got this one started. I didn't think about making this video until about halfway through, but decided that I struggled with this a lot and it'd be nice to help some people out because there wasn't a lot of videos out there. Um, this is called the sway bar bushing. This is my sway bar. And then there's another piece that I couldn't find on, I couldn't find any help videos on YouTube and it's called the sway bar slider. And it basically goes in this little piece here and it's a, um, a plastic block that your sway bar goes into. So I'll try to get a shot of that really quick for you. So I hope you can see that there, but this is my sway bar. This here's my sway bar and it's going into this, sorry, this block here. Um, so basically you take the sway bar block and you slide it in here. There's two little grooves in here to hold the block in. You slide it in here and then you put your sway bar in that block. I think you can see that there. So in order to get that sway bar in there though, you need to take this off. This is called your trailing arm. And um, you need to be really, really careful with this bolt here. Um, I rushed into it. I started twisting a little bit left on this bolt when I went to get started with this and the thing just snapped right off. So I turned it a little bit left, snapped right off. So I um, had to drill out this hole back here and uh, re-tap it was what I had done to it. Somebody did that for me. And I don't have this bolt all the way in yet because I was just putting that in. But basically you need to take this out and then you can pull this away. And then usually you can pull this away just enough for you to be able to slide your block in there and then put your sway bar in the block. Um, do note that you also need, if you need to replace this bushing, mine was completely broken. You need to make sure that you have that on obviously before. But um, this gets riveted in. So um, there's not enough room on the inside of the snowmobile here to be able to put a washer on the end, which I figured out, but um, this is three rivets and the rivet size I'm using, uh, you wanna make sure to use steel rivets. Sorry, my hands are shaky, it's cold out. Make sure to use steel rivets, aluminum rivets can stretch. Um, they're a little bit harder to use, but it's definitely worth it. So, because you're gonna be doing it again if you use aluminum rivets. So that's the size that I used. There's my tool. So I did one already and it came off pretty flush. They just break off when they're tight enough and I've got two more to do. So um, make sure you use gloves too when you're doing that. I ordered these parts, they came in little baggies like this and um, I ordered them, the website was called Dennis Kirk. Um, it might be a .com. Dennis Kirk is the place where I got them and it was $30 for the bushing and then I had another bag and it had that sway bar, um, the sway bar slider in it. So that was a good place. I was real happy, shipped it to me quickly. So yeah, I'm gonna rivet these two and then I'll show you what it looks like. I just got the second one in here. Um, this was a pretty tight squeeze because the part of the rivet, this part comes clear out to here. So I actually had to find a different um, tool to use. That was a little thinner along the top. Uh, these rivets I got from Menards too. I'll go ahead and do the third one. And there's the third one. They're all pretty flush. This one's a little off. It's uh, not off, but it's just a little crooked. But it was because I couldn't get my, I kind of went in at an angle um, like this. So, but you know, I think it's gonna hold. And um, if it doesn't, then we'll see. But um, these can be pretty hard. Once I got to the third one, I kind of had to take a break. It's pretty um, fierce on your wrists. But um, anyways, I just gotta tighten this thing back up here. Tighten my bolt to my trailing arm back into the sled. And then hopefully this will hold. Um, this was missing when I bought the snowmobile and this was broken when I bought the snowmobile. So this is really hard plastic. So I'm hoping, it, you know, it shouldn't break again. And I'm hoping that the old plastic, the reason why it was broken is because it got really brittle. But um, this is pretty hard plastic and so is the slider in here. Anyways, I hope that video helped. I'm just gonna bolt this up and then my sled is ready to go for the winter. So I hope that video helped. Leave any comments if you have any questions. I spent a lot of time trying to kind of figure this out and I didn't even know I needed this piece until a week after I got this one. So um, yeah, leave any questions down below and I might be able to help you out.